Hello guys, I'm back again. It's been a while since I've made a video. Uh, I guess my two-year-old keeps me busy. But um, anyways, I was looking at um, videos on YouTube about mini albums because I haven't been really making any mini albums. Anyways, I saw this video from, uh, I think her, her um, YouTube um, name is Paper Tray Ink. And she did a, a very simple mini album out of envelopes and it was really simple, it was cute. And I gave it a try and I did this today. So I wanted to share. I might add a little more embellishments, not sure yet, but so far, I mean, I've made it simple, but it's the paper is very decorative, so very pretty. But uh, I just can't get over the fact that the book was very simple. I mean, I made it in one day. So, and with a two year old. Anyways, here it is. Uh, I should have measured the envelopes, but I think they were five and a half. I'm sorry, six and a half by, I think, uh, five and a quarter, if I'm not mistaken. Oh gosh, I should have checked, but I think it's six and a half by five and a quarter or four and a quarter. Five and a quarter, something like that. Anyways, here it is. I'll check later and I'll write it down in the uh, description. But uh, I used... Um, for the cover, I used, um, she used cardstock, but I used, um, um, it's not chipboard, it's like, a, oh gosh, like, uh, oh my god, I can't remember. Anyway, it's these cardboards that my mother-in-law gets from her job, and I glued two together, and they're like more sturdier than, uh, my chipboard that I have, so I like to use these a lot. It's like a... Uh, poster board or something I don't know but anyways it's it's really sturdy really good I just double it but that's what I use as my cover I mean here's the back plain and here's the binding I mean she said you could cover it you could put um you could put a uh, cardstock or some nice uh, collection paper to cover it but I kind of like it it looks kind of scrunchy I kind of like that so I left it like that but here's a paper. I should have looked at the name of the collection and I did not. I will put it in the description, I promise. But um, I just labeled it, You Are Loved. And put a little flower there, a little, um, little diamond thing there. And this is the first page. And here, it was just a plain page. So what I did is I added this piece here and made a pocket. So you can insert a tag and you have more space for other stuff in here that you can fit in. And these, I left them blank in the back, but these are our um, index cards, but these are the plain ones. Which I thought I got the ones with the lines to leave them for journal, and these are blank, so I used the wrong ones, but still, they're good. I might stamp a little something in the back, I'm not sure yet, but uh, maybe I'll just leave it blank for journaling. But that's what I used here, and I, like I said, I made this little pocket from the, cut that piece off from the collection. And I just uh, used it as a pocket, so that was cool there. I didn't want to leave that page blank. So on on the ladies' tutorial, she didn't have these flaps. Uh, it's just the envelopes. She did get the envelopes. She used five. She cuts the little tabs off, so that all the envelopes are just you know in order. And I don't know what kind of binding this is, but it's a kind of a paper you cut and you. Um, fold it like in an accordion fold and you insert the envelopes in there. I'm not sure what that binding is called, but I used that one. That's not the one I, well, I really never used this one. I tried it, I liked it. But I left the flaps on the envelopes. And what I did is, if they're the corner ones, the corner, I guess, tab. I went ahead and cut um, a piece of uh, cardstock, the white cardstock. The, uh, I got a nice sturdy one. And so I made it a, a, a flap, just for more space for more pictures. And then I still left the opening here, but since it was like a diamond, I put my paper, glued it down, and you know, left it to still, again, another tag, left it blank. And if you choose to put pictures or something in there, the good thing is a flap stays closed, so it won't come out, versus if they were just open, I feel like the, they would fall out. So that was the idea of the flap and to have more space for pictures. 
But anyway, the paper's really pretty, so it's kind of hard to want to cover it. I might put a little sign there, but this one I'll probably leave it like that. It's really pretty paper. And I cut the, I had these little stamps. I went ahead and stamped them all, put some um, cardstock on the back, cut these little flowers out of the collection with my little stamp, and I just put the little rhinestones on top. And the next page, they're all um, pretty much the same, but here I left it blank. Like I said, the paper's really pretty, the design. So I just, again, put another little saying here, the little flowers again with the rhinestone. And these stamps, there were six or seven of them. I got them at a, at a second hand store for a dollar, so that was cool. They're like rubber stamps, and they're really cute. The, the little sayings, like this one for example says, hope your day is as special as you are to me. That's cute. So that was cute. And here's the flap again. I love this page with the butterfly. Really pretty. And again, you got the space here for picture. Another tag. Like I said, these are, are all fairly blank. Not too much decoration on them. <clears throat> like I said, I might go back and do a little more to them. But, um, uh, but there it goes. Next one. Here's the little pretty paper and then another little saying there. Another, another little flower that I cut out from the paper collection. And again, the flap opens. Again, another tag. And this one, also plain paper. Left a blank on the back for journaling. So then here's my next page. I love this paper. I guess I loved it because of the butterflies. Really pretty. Another little saying. Some more of the little flowers that I cut out. Here I love these little paper, the way it looks so pretty. And then it has glo um, glitter on the butterflies. So it makes it um, stand out more. And again, another tag here. And it just pops in there. Like I said, it has room for more pictures or stuff that you want to you know store in there I like this they just turn flat very well flat no problem I like that part and again nice butterflies another little scene here with another little rhinestone and then a flap again and I think this this um same paper that I showed on the other one. I think I used the same one on this one. Um, this little butterflies is the same as the other one, but I think this was green. Yeah, and this is a uh, pink with blues. Really pretty. I love that paper. I think I'm gonna have to buy this collection again because I used it already in a couple of minutes and I'm running out. I got like three or four pages left. Anyways, this is the ending. This is the end. Again. Nice pretty flowers. I don't know what those are called, but pretty flowers. And then again, I did the same thing on the as I did on the front. This is a yellow with pink, and this is a blue with green. And so again, I did a pocket to make another tag, just for more space, more journaling, more pictures. You know, it's all about having the space, the flaps for pictures and journaling. Insert that in there. But anyways, this is my mini album. I just wanted to show you because it was very simple to make. Oh, it's a little chunky though, as you can see. But it was very simple to make. I loved it. I'm going to be doing more of these because I really enjoyed it. I'm probably going to try with a different size of envelope to make a bigger one. But yes, I enjoyed it. Again, um, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.